Hey, what's up you guys? This is John Chacon with Austin Performance Fitness. Wanted to share with you today my top three methods for recovery, okay? There might be other methods, but the top three that I find most beneficial will be what I'm about to share with you today. So before we get started, let's define what exactly recovery means, okay? Recovery is number one, the repairing of your tissues. Those tissues, tissues that you just put through the ringer in your workout, okay? We need those things to repair. Number two, it allows your body to refuel. You need to replace all those nutrients that you just expended and that you use during your workout or your series of workouts. Number three, it allows your body to regulate fat mass and muscle mass. Hopefully, it's decreasing the fat mass and using it as energy and increasing your muscle mass for more strength. And lastly, Recovery is important for those performance adaptations. We want you to get stronger, faster, more explosive, more range of motion, all these things. We want to improve. We want to make progress. Okay, so that is, that is what your definition of recovery will be. Those four things, repairing, refueling, fat mass and muscle mass regulation, and performance enhancements. Okay, so four things I think we can agree that we all would like to have. Now, what are my top three methods? Number one is rest, okay? Passive rest primarily, not active rest, not going out on a run, not going swimming, nothing like that. Doing nothing, okay? Now that doesn't mean just kind of just lay in bed all day. That means just kind of go about your day as normal. Don't do anything workout related, just chill out. The number one thing that you could do for passive rest, guys, is sleep. Sleep is so important to your body, how your brain functions, how your body is able to recover. Lack of sleep is adding stress to your body, and it's an additive thing. We know this because even if we miss, we don't sleep one night, we can't make up for it the next night. I guarantee you, it ain't gonna happen. And for the most of us, we probably can't make up for the lack of sleep that we've had for all the years that we've been living in a, in, on this earth, okay? However, you can continue to try to get more sleep. Not everybody has the same sleep patterns or requires the same amount. Personally, I require nine to 10 hours of sleep. Do I get that? No, but I know what I regulate best off of. Some crazy people, like I knew in the military, they can get by with like four hours of sleep and be fine, be totally focused, be on point with everything they do. That's not everybody. Some people are in the middle, six to eight hours, find out what works best for you and get that sleep, guys. A couple other things you can do to also make sure you're getting some good rest, avoid illness, avoid injury, and avoid overtraining. Okay, if you go into your workout and it's like the eighth one you've done in a row, nonstop for eight days, and you feel sluggish, you feel slow, you're just not holding things correctly, you're not balancing right, get out of the gym. Do yourself a favor, rescue yourself, and get out of there. Go take a nap, go refuel, and go get some water in you, okay? Now, part two of my top three recovery methods after passive rest comes sufficient nutrition, okay? Now, what does that mean? That means you're getting enough of the good and the right foods in your body. For everybody, it's gonna be different, okay? Depending on your level of activity, depending on your body type, okay? Whether you're really skinny, whether you are overweight just naturally, you're just a little bigger, or maybe you're right in the middle. But for everybody, that's different as far as carbohydrates, fat, and protein go. However, you need to make sure you're getting in enough because more often than not, people are trying to lose weight, they're not getting in enough nutrition, especially for athletes. For athletes, they got busy lives, they got our youth athletes, athletes that are in school, college, high school, junior high, all those things, they don't get in enough. And something I see, even with adults, not getting enough nutrition, and they take it upon themselves to just eat less and less and less. Their bodies are not able to recover. They're getting weaker. They're putting fat mass back on their bodies and they're losing muscle. Make sure you get enough nutrients, okay? Carbohydrates are included in that, guys. Carbohydrates are not evil. However, make sure you're eating them. If one thing is, if you start to notice your mood slipping, okay, during the day and at your workouts, and you notice yourself being really sluggish at your workouts, take a look at how many carbohydrates you're actually consuming. If you've completely cut them out of your diet altogether, you might want to think about putting them back in, okay? That's not for everybody, but just think about it, okay? Lastly, probably one of the most important is hydration, something we all don't get enough of, especially with all the other drinks 
that we have available. Okay, I'm not saying those drinks are evil either. I love a great cup of coffee or a couple during that day. I love coffee. However, water, so important guys. And I've talked about this earlier. Try to keep a water bottle or something around you that, uh, that you know that you, that you remember to drink water out of. Whatever that might be, whether it's a Camelback or one of those big old gallon jugs of water or just a simple Nalgene like I have, okay? Push that water. A good rule of thumb, this is without working out, is about half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 180 pounds, half your body weight is 90, and that's about 90 ounces, which is about three of these, okay? And that's just the baseline. If you're working out, you should probably have a couple more of those and replenish all that water that you just sweated out, okay? Another good rule of thumb for every pound of sweat, yes, pound of sweat that comes out of your body, it's a good idea to push about 24 ounces of water. So about one and a half times that, because a pound we know is 16 ounces, which is roughly 16 ounces of water. So one and a half that, so 24 ounces, okay, which is almost an entire one of those bottles. So pound the water, guys. That will be something that's so critical to your performance to your recovery all together. Okay, so those top three, again, are passive rest. Sleep is important, guys. Don't forget that stress and sleep is additive. It compounds over the days. So if you lose it, you can't make up for the next day by just getting the same amount of sleep or de-stressing just a little bit. Get it under control. Number two is that sufficient nutrition. Make sure you're getting in enough. Okay, I know a lot of trainers talking a lot about getting in less but I'm talking about getting in enough, especially if you're pushing those workouts hard. And third, make sure you're drinking water and you're hydrating. So critical to how our bodies work, our muscles contract, our brains function, all these things, guys. So, hope that helps you out and I hope that gets you on a better road to recovery. Hey, notice I didn't mention stretching, I didn't mention massage, and I didn't mention uh, ice baths, okay? Those things probably all feel really good and I still use those things, however, they're not in my top three. You might have a different list, but I highly recommend giving these three a shot to see if you can recover better and get more results from your workouts, guys. So, this has been Josh Cohn with Awesome Performance Fitness. Enjoy your weekends and have a great day, stronger every day. Peace.